What's up guys, how's it going? Today's video is brought to you by HP and they sent us over this HP Pavilion all-in-one uh, computer. Now this is your entry-level version. They got a couple different models. This one has 8 gigs of RAM running Windows 10 and it's got a 2.9 gigahertz uh, AMD processor. If all that means nothing to you, that's all good. Basically, like I said, this is your entry-level computer. So watching Netflix, browsing YouTube, basic Photoshop, uh, you know, your general purpose Word documents, look up stuff for school on the internet, this is your go-to. But if you're gonna be doing any heavy gaming or video editing, I would definitely look at the model up that gets you way more processing power, more RAM. Uh, I think it gives you even a bigger hard drive. And because this is Windows 10, that means it ships with Cortana. And for those of you that don't really know what that means, it's basically Windows kind of AI that helps you find things easier. It runs with voice commands or you can text search. So I really, to be honest, don't use it a whole lot, but let's give it a try right now. So we click on the little microphone. Open Netflix. Okay, starting Netflix. And there you go, there's how Cortana works. You basically click on the microphone, tell it what you want. Watch Netflix, browse the internet, and as long as you aren't too far from the microphone, it usually does a decent job at picking up what you want to do. And I also believe that it learns over time your habits, same way as Google and whatnot does, as far as uh, what you want to do, that way it gets better at recognizing your speech. Another thing I haven't mentioned, which I actually really like about this, is this is my first desktop that is a touchscreen. And Baby Chick, my daughter, she loves it. It's basically like a giant tablet for her. So she was up here browsing through Netflix, picking out her shows, clicking on her favorite YouTube videos and whatnot and since she's comfortable with using a tablet and cell phones she walked up to this second nature was able to operate it but since my daughter is four if I tried to hand her this mouse and have her operate this screen she would have so many issues it's actually quite comical but because she's so used to tablets and whatnot she just walks up to this thing and instantly knows what to do oh click that slide that second nature so that is a huge benefit to this is having this giant touch screen and it's got all the hookups you could ever want hdmi out usb 3.0 you can plug in your ethernet for internet cable or you can use wireless it's even got a multi-card reader so you can pull off all your data from all your different devices and whatnot but like i said not only is it a great computer but it looks good as well i think they probably modeled it after the imax because it's got that sleek silver design with like the beveled back so if you have your computer out in the main room you wouldn't have to worry about it looking ugly or cluttered or anything because the only thing other than the screen itself is the wireless keyboard and wireless mouse so it's really clean and simple to set up so if you guys are in the market for an entry-level desktop, I would definitely check out the HP Pavilion All-in-One. It's a simple, sleek, yet powerful little computer that would fit great in any home. And if you guys have any other questions or want to look further into this, I'll have links down below to both the higher and the lower end model of the HP Pavilion so you guys can see which one's right for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.